Hi, welcome back to another Archicad speed modeling quick coffee tip. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and join the ASM tech base email list for newsletters and future updates. Okay, to start with, we have an empty template. I mean, that's the way I usually start when I get some drawings in from a client. And to show you, I've got um, just an, you know, normal setup, I've got layers. And there's one thing that happens if you get drawing in from the client, they can really mess up your layers here because as soon as you merge them in, it will just add all the layers the client is using, which obviously it has to, that's fine. Now, if you want to use that, that's fine. But if you want to keep it clean, that's what I do, then I'll show you how to do this. As example, I've got two Archicad open. That's important action. So I've got open this one here, which I called Quick Tips 48 Import Drawing for Modeling. And I got a second one open, which has no, uh, no name yet. So I'll show you what happened. So I've got a worksheet here. Okay, I mean the worksheet, I said new worksheet and I made a new worksheet. If I now merge in my drawing file and I'll show you what I mean with the messy layers. So I open the drawing file, merge content of model space into current view. Yes, that's fine. And then I always skip this, has to be the text, which you never get anyway, usually. So I skip this. And then you have a couple of options. I usually go specify uh, on screen, so they're all in the same spot. And I just click merge, and I can click them here, as example, at the origin, so I click again. Now you click again and now you've got the option which layers to import from your drawing file. You usually have to tick them all because you don't really know where the client puts his information. So they're all ticked and we say OK. Great, so I've got this in now. You can see that's just very simple. There's a, floor, a ground floor, level one, and I've got my elevations. Now, before continuing, this is the file I have not saved, it has no name. And the reason is, if I open my layer settings now, you can see it did add at the bottom all those layers from the client. Now, if you want to use this, it's fine. Then you do your layer combination, turn them on and off, not a problem. But I show you a way that you don't even need that if you don't want to. So let's cancel out of this. And that's why I've got two Archicads open. So my next step here is now, I select them and I simply move them onto the Archicad layer. So we go there all the way, Archicad, okay. Great, so they're on the Archicad layer now, and my next step is to copy them, and I go back to my other drawing, which I saved with the name, my template, where I wanted to do my modeling. So I go to worksheets, and let's just do a new one here and I call it O1 and we call it drawing import create now all I have to do is I paste this in original location yes paste and done now so I've got them in and if I look at my layer settings now we can see they're not messed up they haven't brought in all the other layers from the client. Now again, if you want this, that's fine. But if you don't want it, I don't need it because I show you in a moment how I keep modeling and it's just nice and clean. My template layers are perfectly clean. Great, get out of here. So to start moving them around now into place, I go to my floor plan and I simply go show a stress reference. So zoom out a bit, they have to be somewhere. Coming up, yeah. So I do a right click in an empty space we trace drag reference and i drag my floor plan into place okay so that's my floor plan right now for the next one i go up and we go to level one now before i do this i have to draw a wall I do a very simple wall. This gives me a reference for all my elevations in the moment because I got to put them in place. And I can also put 
the next drawing above in Plex. So what I do is we, very simple for this exercise, let's just add a normal wall. Uh, let's put, um, yeah, let's see if I have even a little brick wall. Yes, brick brown, running bond, age natural, let's do that one. Okay, and we put this for now, yeah, on to 400, thickness and I put 200 and click OK. So what I do is now, I trace along here. Look, this is just an example. So obviously I don't do this exactly. You see that my wall is slightly not thick enough, but that will do. Now you need this because in a moment, if I don't want to fit my elevation to this drawing here and be able to add the windows exactly where they are, I need a reference in 3D. Hope I missed that little bit. Just click here and we hang on, suspend groups. Put that there. Okay, so because what happens now if I go now to my A1, right? It's click there. I now get this wall here. And now I can start to fit my elevation. Now we have to figure out, we're looking this way, because see, I just, I just put that in, so I have to have a look where I am at the moment. Um, so we put it this way, it will be this elevation, if I'm correct, east elevation. Let's go have a look, go over here again. Yeah, that'll do. So it's east elevation. So let's call number one, will be the east elevation. So again, you go to the worksheet and you can go again, show us trace reference. So zoom out, there we go. So this is, this is our elevation we need to reference to my walls. So we drag reference and let's drag this one for now. Let's have a look where we, how we go. Okay, got to make sure I've got the right elevation, like I said. No, actually, I'm thinking I'm not correct. I can see why I did not draw this wall here. See, this wall is missing. Let's do that quickly. Let's go back so it's easier to understand for you. So let's just add a wall here and just to fix that up. All right, cool. So if I go back now, yeah, uh, there you go. See, perfect. Perfect match. Now we can see at the moment, I can't look through. So all you have to do is from the reference, um, here the trace reference, you can make it slightly transparent. See, there you go. Great. And now this is exactly right. Now always you have to still do the height. So just click outside trace reference and we drag down from here. We drag it down to there. See? There you go. So this fits perfectly. So that's my first elevation here. So if you go back now, I do another one. Let's just do this one goes front on. I can see the garage, which is elevation two for me for this example. So I'll go there and we have a look where we are. Ooh, all right. And again, we go trace reference, show us trace reference and you zoom out. And we know this time it's a bit easier. I need to see where the garage is, which is this one here. And we move that trace, drag reference, and let's go there. And we fit that there. Okay, like slightly transparent, there we go. And one more time, trace reference. We drag the reference from there to the bottom of the brick wall. As you can see, we need to move the elevation slightly to the left because the brick wall overlaps on the left. And I can see why, if you look at the right side of the garage, that piece of wall is actually the piece of wall at the back. So to make it a bit more visible, I add quickly a couple of other walls at the front with a different color, and then we move it over. So if I now move the elevation, Let's do that again. Trace, we drag reference. And we drag this to there. So this, you see how this fits perfectly now. 
that's the way you now can have the different elevations set up. You notice that I've got only one drawing sheet import. I don't need more for each elevation. I use always the same. So if you go back, you got elevation one, elevation two. And as soon as I put in a window, let's do that quickly. As soon as I put a window here, just do a simple one, it won't match. Let's just do this one here. I don't even look at the size. Because what happens now, if I put this window in, what should happen? If I now go out to here, obviously we got the window in. And I do that a lot too, because then I just go in 3D and I just adjust the window there. I don't even have to look at the size because I've got already a reference of size. There you go, this fits perfectly now. There's one more important step and that is for different floor plan levels you need to create different worksheets, so additional ones. i show you. Now for the floor plans, unfortunately, we have to copy the worksheet. I'll show you why. We are, we are on the ground floor at the moment. And if I go to level one, I can still see my trash reference. I can turn it off. There's nothing there. We have no wall, nothing. So if I now move as example, say, oh, just move this trace reference over so let's take trace drag and obviously I can move this corner to fit this corner okay that's just roughly now so what happens if I now go down to the ground floor that move too so suddenly that doesn't fit anymore because we can't do this so let's move this back we take the trace reference again move this back to our starting point, this corner here. Okay, so all you have to do is for the next floor, or if, we have, if I would have a roof plan, or you have more than one floor, that's what you have to do. So you have to create more worksheets. Ah, I have sometimes 10, 15 worksheets because I've got 10, 15 stories. That's just the way it has to be. So you go to this drawing and you just do a new one and we call this O2 and just for this tutorial example quick tip I just call this level one okay level one create so all you have to do is now you just take level one I don't need the others and we just copy this and we paste this to level one there we go. So I go down now. So this is nice. I've got my trace ready. So if I go to my level one now, I can now easily say, oh, I need level one for trace reference. Show us trace reference. You just go zoom out again. There it is. And you move this up. Now, how do you match this up? Good question. Let's just move it a bit closer. Roughly. But as you can see, this won't, well, it won't fit. You don't know where your walls are at the moment. So that's a very simple way. I just show ground floor as trace reference, which obviously I lose my level one trace reference. And all you do is you take a line, draw a line and we go back to our Trace reference, where are we here? Level one, show as a trace reference, there we go. And I go and drag this corner to this line. Easy, there we go, delete this. And if I now go and I say, I probably could choose that already, ground, that's my ground floor, level one, and I can just start drawing over and it will exactly fit with my ground floor. You can even go and say sometimes you go to the ground floor and let's go down. You know, as an example, let's just take a couple of walls and you copy and we go up, paste them in. There we go. And then you can keep drawing just take those walls and you start or keep drawing around 
I don't do the, the lot now, but this is just so it gives you another example to how you can set all this up. And if I now go there, see, there we go. Obviously my levels are not correct at the moment. I haven't said that at all. It's not for me, just the next one. It's a bit high. So don't forget, you obviously have to do your own story settings. Let's make this to 400 and it should come down. Roughly, see, I haven't checked. Now oh, there you go. But you understand what I mean, how to set up the drawing. And that's all set. There you go. I hope you enjoyed this little quick tip, and I see you back next time. Bye for now.